Hello everyone. Welcome to GS Core. Today in this session, we'll be discussing about current affairs through MCQs. And the topic of discussion is science and technology. So let us start with the questions. First question is, with reference to combined maritime forces, CMF, consider the following statements. First, it has, it has been established in 2001 against the piracy activities in the Indian Ocean region. Right? So this statement is a correct statement. The combined maritime forces are established in 2001 for, uh, for the operations against for operations against piracy. Right? Next now. Second statement. India has joined as partner country with United States at CMF in 2022. Right? Or in 2022. So, this is also a correct statement. India has joined CMF as a partner country with United States of America in 2022. Third statement. It has 34 member nations, right? So, this statement is also a correct statement. As of now, there are 32 member countries of, uh, of CMF, fine? So, the CMF uh, ensures rule-based international order uh, and in order to ensure this, it carries out various activities. For example, uh, the uh, activities like counter, uh, countering the illicit non-state actors uh, in high seas and to ensure that there is promotion of security and stability uh, along with prosperity in the international waters. That is what is the mandate of, uh, of CMF. And in order to ensure security, stability and those prosperity, it carries out various operations like, uh, like counter narcotics operations. It carries out uh, operations like counter narcotics. Then it also carries out anti-smuggling operations, anti-smuggling. Then uh, it also encourages regional cooperation. Regional cooperation is, is ensured by CMF. Fine. So, such kind of activities are carried out. Uh, by CMF to improve the stability and safety in the region. Fine. So, as of now, there are 34 nations under CMF, uh, which includes countries like uh, Japan, France, Brazil, uh, Australia, United States of America and all. Fine. So, that is about first question. So, answer of this question is C, because all the statements related to CMF are correct statements. Next question now. Second question is, Defense Research and Development Organization, that is DRDO, recently carried out the maiden test fl flight of a flying wing technology demonstrator. In this context, consider the following statements. First statement, the flying wing type of aircraft refers to a tailless fixed wing aircraft which houses its payload and fuel in its main wings unlike the conventional aircrafts right so this statement is correct statement for flying wing type aircrafts where the uh, aircraft houses its payload and fuel in the main wings and not uh, like the conventional uh, aircrafts and so first statement is a correct statement so uh, second statement now the flying wing technology demonstrator aims to help in development of unmanned aerial combat vehicles, which of the uh, unmanned combat aerial vehicles, right? So, uh, this technology, whether this technology, that means the flying wing technology demonstrator helps in the development of UCAVs, that means unmanned aerial combat vehicles. So, yes, it does help in the development of uh, unmanned combat aerial vehicles. And that's why both these statements are correct statements for this particular question and that's why answer is c fine so uh, the flying the uh, flying wing technology demonstrator carried out by uh, by 
DRDO uh, has the potential to deliver high fuel efficiency and stability, right? It will ensure high, high fuel efficiency and stability will be ensured by the flying wing technology demonstrator, right? And uh, this technology, flying wing technology demonstrator, it is considered as a uh, predecessor or precursor for, it is a precursor for UCAV, unmanned combat aerial vehicle, fine. So, that is why both these statements are correct statements and hence answer is, answer is C, both 1 and 2. Next question now. Second question is, consider the following statements regarding National Maritime Security Coordinator, NMSC. First statement, NMSC will act, uh, will be, NMSC will be the nodal point for all issues related to maritime security, right? So, uh, this statement is a correct statement because uh, the nodal uh, the uh, National Maritime Security Coordinator will be the nodal point for all issues related to maritime security. So, first statement is a correct statement regarding NMSC. Second statement, NMSC will be tasked with improving countries' blue economy needs, right? So, as it is uh, trying, to, trying to ensure maritime security, it will address all the needs of blue economy of our country. And that's why second statement is also a correct statement. Third statement, NMSC will work under the chief of defense staff. This statement is an incorrect statement. NMSC will work under the national security advisor, NSA, not under CDS. And that's why third statement is an incorrect statement. Fine. So, NMSC will be acting as an interface between the civilian and uh, maritime uh, domain so that there is synergy in the actions for maritime security fine and uh, this this particular body will uh, will uh, or was envisaged after 2008 uh, mumbai attacks and the uh, the nmsc will coordinate the operations of indian navy coast guards and uh, the state coastal states fine so, first and second statements are correct statements and that is why answer of this question is 1 and 2 only mentioned in option B. Next question now. What does, what does project Wardek that was in news recently relates to? Right. So, the question is about project Wardek and the Wardek is AI powered war game center to design virtual reality war games and so uh, it will be the first of its kind simulation based training center right it will be simulation based simulation based simulation based training center Right, and uh, it will be using the Wardek project. Wardek will be using AI to design to design virtual reality war games. It will be using artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence will be used to design virtual reality war games. Fine. So, project Wardek is related to AI powered war game center for virtual reality war games and here soldier, soldiers will be able to test their skills in in the metaverse where there will be simulated environment created by uh, artificial uh, by the virtual reality and augmented reality right so uh, it is a kind of metaverse it is a kind of metaverse where soldiers will be uh, will be able to will be able to test their skills fine so that is what is uh, the answer c is the answer for this particular question now next question next question is 
consider the following statements regarding brahmos mission a uh, brahmos missile right so the question is about brahmos missile first statement it is a two power two stage supersonic cruise missile that operates on fire and forget principle right so this statement is a correct statement regarding the brahmos missile right so first statement is correct statement regarding the brahmos missile it is supersonic missile that acts and fire and for uh, that acts on fire and forget principle second statement now presently it can only be launched from ground and surface ships so this statement is an incorrect statement because we have almost all variants of brahmos which can be launched from ground surface ships fighter aircrafts and even uh, and even from the submarines right so second statement that's why is incorrect and hence answer is a one only fine so brahmos we know that it is a joint initiative of india and russia it is a joint initiative of india and russia wherein two stage uh, cruise missiles are being built and brahmos is a supersonic cruise missile and brahmos 2 is hypersonic cruise missile fine so that is about this question answer is a one only next question now second question is consider the following statements regarding lca tejas first it is a first supersonic fighter developed by hindustan aeronautics limited so this statement is an incorrect statement because the first a uh, supersonic fighter aircraft developed by HAL was HAL HF 24 Marut this is the first uh, supersonic fighter aircraft developed by HAL and that's why first statement is an incorrect statement second statement now the light combat aircraft LCA Tejas was conceptualized to replace india's aging mig 21 fighters right so this statement is a correct statement lca tejas is uh, is replacing mig 21 fighters of indian air force third statement presently tejas has variants for both air force as well as navy so this statement is also a correct statement there are variants of tejas for both air force as well as navy fine so answer is 2 and 3 only that means option b next question now next question is which of the following statements regarding wag shear submarine is are correct first statement it is the last of the scorpion class submarines made under the p75i project right so this statement is an incorrect statement because we know that wag shear is yes it is a scorpion class submarine but it is being developed under project 75 which is a joint initiative of india and france project 75 i on the other hand is a successor mission of uh, project 75 which uh, will develop different types of submarines uh, which which are not uh, which are not being named as of now fine so first statement is incorrect statement second it is a diesel attack submarine designed to perform sea denial as well as access denial warfare against the adversary right so this statement is a correct statement the wakshir uh, which is a scorpion class submarine can perform uh, sea denial as well as access denial warfare against the adversaries third it is named after an island in lakshadweep archipelago so uh, this statement is also an incorrect statement uh, because wagshir is named after the sand fish it is named after the sand fish sand fish uh, which is a deep deep sea predator of indian ocean right so first and third statements are incorrect only second statement is incorrect and that's why answer of this question is b two only right so answer of this question is b next question now next question is can uh, what are 
igla s system seen in the uh, seen in news recently so uh, igla s it is a man portable air defense system uh, developed by russia it is man portable air defense system developed by russia and uh, it has a very short range and it is designed to defeat all types of visible and fixed rotatory uh, winged aircrafts fine so it is short range very short range uh, defense system very short range and uh, it will be targeting cruise missiles around the clock under uh, thermal as well as background noise right so uh, it is a man portable air defense capable of engaging all visually observable aircrafts and helicopters so answer of this question is a next question now next question is consider the following statements consider the following statements regarding the uh, MRSAM, MRSAM seen in news recently. First, it is a surface to air missile jointly developed by DRDO in cooperation with Israel. So, this statement is a correct statement. MRSAM is a joint cooperation, joint collaboration between India and, uh, and Israel. Second statement, it can move at supersonic speed. So, this statement is also a correct statement. Uh, the MRSM can move at supersonic speed. That means the speed which is uh, which is greater than the speed of sound. Third, it has army, navy, and air force variants. Right. So all variants are there with uh, of MRSM, and that's why third statement is also a correct statement. So all these statements are correct statements regarding MRSM, and that's why answer is D one, two, and three. MRSM is a joint collaboration between DRDO and Israel. Fine. So, uh, next question now. Next question is a uh, repeated question. So, we have already discussed the answer of this question. Combined maritime forces, they are established in 2001. They work against piracy. Uh, India has joined as uh, a partner country with USA in 2022. And right now, there are 34 members of CMF. So, all these three statements are correct statements. And so that is about this test. If you want to attempt these uh, these these tests, you can uh, scan this QR code or you can visit the link given in the description box. Thank you for now. See you in the next class.